Hi there, Doggy Dan here from the online dogtrainer.com video website. This movie is all about helping your puppy become tolerant when they're eating food out of a bowl. Tolerant of you coming near that bowl and uh, making sure they're not going to become aggressive and growl at you. Little Moses here, he looks an absolute picture of innocence, and he is, however, Within the first week, you was becoming quite growly when you put your hand near the bowl. So this is what I've been doing, and it's been working quite well. It's a little technique, Moses, and I'll show you it now. What you don't want to do is this. Put the food there, and then start bringing your hand in and trying to grab the food. That's just going to end in trouble. Um, he's going to start growling, it, and it's all going to go backwards. Here's a far better technique. To start with, wait until his bowl is completely empty, and then when he's hungry, bring some food over and you can actually push him out the way so he learns to back off and then drop the food into his bowl and then re remove your hand now if you do this what he's going to start to learn as Moses has already started to do with us is that when my hand comes close I drop food into your bowl and then he's going to be far happier with you patting him and doing all that sort of stuff and then you can actually take it to this next level where he's eating food and there's food in his bowl and you just before he's about to finish that last one you drop some more in until you get to the next stage where he's actually eating food and you drop more food in and then he actually becomes quite happy almost for you to be dropping food in and having your hand near the bowl whilst he's eating and we've been doing this just for a couple of days for about a week and he's such a different dog, and I promise you, you, you know, he has been, he was growling when he came near, but he's already changed. And eventually what we'll do is, we'll sort of get to the stage, you can see he's happy, he's fairly happy with me even moving the bowl. He knows I'm not a threat, he's understood I'm not trying to steal his food. Eventually what you'll be able to do is, you'll be able to bring a handful of food over and just say to him, do a sit or something, and drop food in. And eventually you'll get to the stage where you can just push him off or say, get, move away, put some more food in his bowl and bring it down. But don't rush it. It's worth putting this into practice if you've got a puppy. If you've got a much older dog who's aggressive, who's much bigger, then be very, very careful. I would not try this technique. Certainly children shouldn't be doing this. It should be supervised by adults. But if you're wanting to know what you can do to help develop that sort of tolerance around the food bowl, that's the technique that I would, uh, or one of the techniques that I'd be putting into practice. Because as you can already see, he's pretty happy. Um, with us coming close because he's associated my hand in the bowl with me putting food in don't like I say just to reiterate don't be stupid don't start trying to pull food out and expect him to be happy about that he won't he needs to make the opposite association the association that you put food into his bowl and then it's kind of uh, almost reverse psychology when he's very happy with your hand being near the bowl then you can start taking it away putting food in it and giving him even more back so it's almost the deal I'm making with him is let me have that bowl, give it to me, I promise you, you'll be, I'll give you even more back in return. And, uh, it's working a treat. I'm very happy, I'm very happy about the progress that we've made. Hey Moses! The other little trick is, of course, he'd had a little bit of food when we were doing some other training, so he wasn't absolutely ravenous, which made it easier. And he's quite a sleepy boy because he's been for a run. I think it's time to put you to sleep. Go and have a little sleep in your bed. Maybe take him out to the toilet now. Then we'll put him in his little crate. Come on, boy.